Welcome back to the channel, guys. Pat here at uh, some card skill dreams. So, uh, just a quick, well, hopefully quick. Um, after the last one I did, there was no audio. So, yeah, quick update on the '66 Chevelle wagon. Um, gotten a bit of work done. Getting pretty close to the finish. <clears throat> Um, so I'll just, uh, bring you guys up to speed. I, uh, finished polishing off the, the body. Um, got the trim all done. I'm gonna have to de-chrome the, um, the lower rocker panel trim. And then, because I did all the trim with the Molotow pen, so I'm going to have it, it's going to match the Molotow pen, otherwise it's going to be too bright. Uh, so yeah, I got all the trim done. Well, actually, I just need to do the vent windows. And then I'll be done, I'll be able to put the glass in. Um, and then I have to drill out the, the battery for the wires. And uh, yeah, so that'll be good to go engines done got the deco on the air filter um went over the the back of the transmission with the metalizer and then yeah this put all the well there's only one accessory but um this uh oil filter this is actually a oil filter canister i learned something new about what these are i was wondering what would this little uh, i guess it's I don't know, a drain, I guess, or something like that, but I had no idea what they were before. So I learned that these canisters were usually tossed out after the first oil change. So it was kind of interesting to learn. So yeah, that's ready to go. Um, the chassis is pretty much all done. Just have to... Um, so there was this little bit of interference <coughs> with the exhaust and because I lowered the rear end. So there was a bit of interference. I had to cut this and then I, so I drilled out um, on the ends. <coughs> so I'll be able to get the uh, the last, last <coughs> excuse me, the last section of the exhaust in there. Pin it and glue it in and I'll put on my exhaust tips. Um, yeah, so it's all lowered, it, uh, yeah, I'll have to check the, gee, shoot, I forgot, I didn't check to see if that's going to clear the, uh, oil pan, actually, I probably, no, it's not going to. Well, I hope it is. I just realized I didn't do that. So I may have to trim a little bit out of there. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'll make that. Let's see if I can open that. Anyways, I'll figure that out. Uh, part of the firewall done. So just rubbed on some metalizer, metalizer onto the 
um, brake booster and whatnot. Uh, so I'm, I tinted out the windows just using real tint. Um, so what I did, put the tint on, cut it, well cut a big piece, put it on, and then I trimmed it, and then I cut it back a bit so that when I glue this window in, the tint isn't uh, being touched by the glue, because the glue will, because I had it happen last time, um, so I overlapped it, and the tint stayed, but the glass kind of separated, so it didn't look good. Oop. Anyways, yeah, so something I uh, hopefully to rectify that situation. So I got the back window and the two side rear windows done. That's all I'll do. And then I had to put some more color coats on the hood. So that's look, uh, looking good and covered. And had to sound out a couple little spots. Dust particles. So that's ready for clear. Grills all done. Printed out that uh, license plate. So I black washed with uh, Tumia smoke and then I black washed again with the uh, flat uh, black acrylic. And then I did a flat black around the uh, lenses on the inside, just around it. And also the turn signal lenses have been uh, black washed as well. So yeah, I printed out these license plates. I, I like the, well it said cards, so <laughs> I like that. So I printed those out. Uh, yeah, and the window, polish that up so it's looking nice and good. Just did some detailing to the drive shaft. And then the core support, rad sport on the rad. Looks good. So with this satin black and then I dry brushed flat black over the the radiator. I think that looks really good actually. Uh, you guys have seen the interior. So that's just waiting to be installed. And what else do we have? I think that's pretty much it. Um, the rear trim's been black washed twice, so that's ready to go in. Everything's ready to go. I just need to Molotel the the uh, rocker trim and the vent windows, and I should be able to, pretty much ready to go. So, yeah, so thanks to everybody for their support and appreciate everybody commenting and uh, checking it out. Um, hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. Have a happy Easter today with good food and family and friends. Uh, play safe out there, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you all guys soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.